Hello. Yes. Just a minute, I'll get him. Alf! Alf! What is it? The seaplane's gone down. Oh, Morag was on board. They've taken her to the hospital. Oh. Alf's children. Morag, it's Alf. Uh, and Celia, can you hear us? Morag. What's she saying? It sounds like she's calling someone. It sounds a bit like Barbara. Do you think it could be Barbara? I don't know. Why would she be calling Barbara? Oh, thank you. Thanks, love. Try Morag's house again, would you, sis? See if you can get on to Richard. I tried not ten minutes ago. Yeah, well, ten minutes can make all the difference at a time like this. Oh, you're right, of course. Philip reckons she's going into a coma. Oh, no. I think we're going to have to do it, love. Do what? Get Bobby. Alf. I know, I know. It means interrupting a honeymoon and everything, but I just think it's just got to the point where we've got to get her. I don't know. It's a big thing to be taking on ourselves. You think I don't realise that? Morag's always been so certain that she didn't want Bobby to know. Yeah, well, now she's calling for her. You heard her in there. I mean, it's not Barbara she's calling for. You know that as well as I do. Oh, she was happy. Look at it this way, Alice. If Morag dies and Bobby finds out later, do you think she'll ever forgive us? I doubt it. I think it's a risk either way. Well, what do you suggest? I think we should leave it for the moment. If Morag comes out of the coma and she still wants to see Bobby, we can fetch her then. What if she doesn't come out of the coma? You heard what Philip said. We'll know more when the neurosurgeon gets here. What if he's too late? Ailes, I'm sick of carrying this flaming secret around. I'm going to get Bobby. OK, it's on my head, all right? All right, then it's not all right, but I've made a decision. I'm going to get Bobby. I'll see you soon. The phone just rings and rings. You'd expect someone to be there, to take a message at least. Oh, Saturday, doesn't Richard play golf or something? Or something? Oh, oh, I thought of that. The hospital's trying to get onto his golf club now. I, I think it's better in a way if they tell him, don't you? Hmm. What's the matter? Nothing more's happened, has it? Not yet. Well, where's Alfred? He's standing by, isn't he? Oh, he had to go and do something. What? Bobby. It's OK. Alf told me the lot. You all right? Yeah, no problem. What's going on? What's Bobby doing here? I thought it was just family. She is family. What on earth are you talking about? Gee, you're slow, sis. You're half a week behind. It's her mother in there. Oh. oh. You should tell Celia to keep her mouth shut. She'll catch a fly. Yeah, I will. Well, so, um, what do I do now? Well, you can uh, go in and see her if you like. On my own? It'd probably be best at this stage, yeah. Okay, then. you doing? I don't know. I just can't take it in yet. No, well, you wouldn't. I just can't believe it. I believe it's her that she is really my mother. Well, there doesn't seem to be any doubt about it. No. But I always had this kind of fantasy. And I could never get rid of it. I had this feeling that if I ever found my mother, She'd be really glad to see me. And she'd be sorry about all the times we'd missed together. But it'd all be all right. We'd be happy together again. But now that it's her, that's... The neurosurgeon's here. We're going to operate immediately. Now listen to me. I love you and I'll be here, whatever happens. 
can do a bit of a leaning for once in your life, huh? Hey, what's that? Honey Morag's been hurt. She's in hospital. Her mother? Bobby's mother? Keep it down, Ruthie. But, I mean, how? I mean, when did we find out all this? I've known about it for a long time. And you've managed to sit on it? Wow. Well, I didn't think it'd do anybody any good letting it out. Maybe that's how I should have left it. It just seems all wrong. Auntie Morag. Well, these things do happen, love. Girls do get pregnant, as we well know. And because it was Morag, she wanted to make sure it was kept a secret. And that's the way it's got to stay, OK? Sure. I mean it, Ruthie. Well, of course. I wouldn't do that to Auntie Morag. Where is she? Can I see her? And they're operating now. She's going to be OK, isn't she? I hope so, love. I hope so. I must say, I think it's typical of Morag to have a baby and then abandon it like that. She didn't entirely abandon her. She paid maintenance for Bobby until Martha died and they lost touch. Yes, yes, money. Morag could always find money. But she couldn't find any love or any concern or care about anyone's well-being but her own. She might be dying. I can still speak the truth. She abandoned her own child. I won't forgive her for that. She mustn't die. She mustn't die. Well, what do you mean? You mean you really want to get it together with her? Oh, you must be joking. I want to tell that woman how much I hate her. <laughs>